Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Onwards and Upwards, everything a global healthcare worker needs to know about living and working in the United States. I am your host, Danielle Friedman, here at Kinetics USA, where we are part of the AMN family, along with our sister company, O'Grady Payton. And today is an exciting day. It is a special day. It's career day. Yay! We are so excited to be here today. We are going to be showcasing some of the top employers from around the United States. Let's bring up our list of all of those top employers. We're going to have Christiana Care. We're going to have Jackson Hospital. We're going to have Mercy. We're going to have Monument Health. And we are going to have Northside Hospital. So what is career day, you might be asking. So Kinetics was the first company to do career day. And once a quarter, we showcase our healthcare partners, and we are now bringing our OGP sister company along for the fun. So this is your chance to get to know employers across the US. It's your chance to educate yourself, to learn about where they are, all about their facilities, and it's your chance to ask questions. So please put in the chat any questions that you have. We're going to be taking questions questions live on this show. And if we don't get to your questions, we are going to be taking all of the questions in the chat. So don't worry. So please take the chance to ask questions, educate yourself. At AMN Healthcare, we have, bringing, we have been bringing nurses to the U.S. for many, many years. And this is just another opportunity for you to meet our wonderful employers. So I am very excited about career day. I don't know about all of you. I see there's a chatter in the chat. We have people watching from around the world. I love to see where our viewers are watching from. We have Grace from Zambia. We have Martula from Nigeria. Megan from Harrisburg. Fozua from Kuwait. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all of you. We are so excited to have you all here today for our special career day. So before we get started, let's talk about how it's going to work. So let's bring up that graphic with our rules. So this is how you are going to meet your match. We call career day speed dating for nursing careers in the US. So this is your chance to get to know our top employers. They are going to go in alphabetical order. They it's just so that we are fair. They are going to have 10 minutes on the clock. So they're going to have 10 minutes to sell themselves to you. So you are in the driver's seat this time. You can ask the questions. You can get to know them, whatever you want to know, and ask your questions live. Once again, if we don't get to your questions on the show, we will be going through the questions after in the chat. So please be sure to put your questions. Let's go through how to choose a participating facility. So we know that you have lots of options when you come to the United States and we want to help you figure out how to choose the right match for you. So with AMN, you have Kinetics, which is direct hire, and you have O'Grady Payton, which is staffing. We are the only company in the industry that offers you both options. And with both options, we have our five amazing employers that are coming on today to tell them all to tell you all about themselves. So these are some of the things you might want to consider when you are listening to these employers. You might want to consider the area that they're in. Is it an area that you could see yourself living? Is it in a warm area, a cold area? Is it in an area that you can have a wonderful white Christmas? Is it in an area near palm trees? Whatever it is that's going to be important to you. Accreditations and awards. This is a big one. The employers that we have on today are amazing very, very awarded employers. So they are going to share all about what they are accredited for, what their awards are, what makes them special. Training programs and community. Some other very important things to consider when you are, when you are thinking about what is important to you when you are coming to the United States. Do you want to come and join a community that's already there? Or do you want to be part of building a new community of international immigrants? Just some things to consider. Um, let's talk about what they are offering. So that's another big question for international nurses. I know that's something that a lot of you are curious about. Their specialties. Are they hiring for your specialty? Definitely something you need to make sure of. Spousal support. If that is something that is important for your situation, how are they going to help support your spouse? 
career prospects. What can be your career development? What can be your career trajectory with this employer? Benefits. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is really to trust your gut. You want to make sure that this is going to be the right fit for you. You are making a commitment to this employer just as much as this employer is making a commitment to you, just like a marriage. You'll hear us talk about that on many, many of our Onwards and Upwards shows. So without further ado, I'd love to get started. So let's bring out our first facility. So we have the Christiana Care team. So good morning to the Christiana Care team. So excited to have them coming on. They are going to share all about Christiana Care. Good morning, everybody. Good so morning. before we get started, let's take a quick, get a quick minute to do some introductions. I'd love to hear who you all are. So let's get started with you, Suzanne. Hi, I'm, Hi, Suzanne. I'm Suzanne. I'm nurse manager for a medical step down unit. All right. Well, we look forward to hearing from you. Let's go with Barbara next. Good morning. I'm Barbara Marandola. I'm a nurse manager for one of the medical units at the Newark campus. Wonderful. Okay. And let's go with Jenny next. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny, and I also work in a medical step-down unit. Um, I actually come from the Philippines originally. Uh, that is where I studied and gained my bachelor's in nursing, went to the UK, and from the UK, I'm here in the US, again, as an international nurse. Okay, well, I'm sure lots of Filipinos who are watching. I saw in the chat some Filipinos who are watching, so I'm sure your fellow countrymen will be very excited to hear from you. And last, but certainly not least, Jesse. Thank you. I'm Jesse Rhodes, Director of Talent Acquisition here at Christiana Care, um, and I am also a nurse, uh, so excited to, to have this opportunity to get in front of you all today. And it's good to be first. We're actually first, even though I'm last. We're first. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. And sounds like you'll bring quite a unique, uh, a neat, unique perspective, Jesse, being talent acquisition and a nurse. So very excited to hear from you this morning. All right, Christiana Care team. Well, we are so happy to have you on. I know our nurses around the world are very excited to hear and learn about your facilities. You have 10 minutes on the clock, ready and go. All right, well, good, good morning, afternoon, evening. I recognize it's morning here, but not for all of you. So thank you for taking the time to spend with us. 10 minutes does not feel like enough time for us to really convey all the reasons why we believe we with us, but we'll do our best. Um, and as, as I mentioned, I am a nurse. I've been with Christiana Care for uh, about 15 years, started off at the bedside. And um, nursing is such an important piece of who we are that they want a nurse leading recruitment for our nurses. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of how important it is for us to really weave nursing perspective into everything we do at Christiana. Um, and so just want to go through a quick slideshow. Um, we'll do our best to keep up with your questions in real time. Um, but here you can see uh, just a few pictures. Oopsie, let me get back to that other. I think maybe you're sharing. I thought I, I, I think I was supposed to take the lead, but I appreciate you continuing <laughs> forward for me. Um, here you can see a few of our campuses. So one thing I want to mention out the gate is we do have different campuses with different kind of energy. So we have a level one trauma center. Uh, with a level three NICU. All of our um, campuses are magnet, so great nursing experience and nursing care. And then we also have some smaller, more community-based hospitals that uh, level three trauma center and just some different opportunities to have different environments at Christiana Care. And that's one wonderful thing about us. So now I'll have you go into that next slideshow. And if you don't mind playing our video, that would be great. Life is full of choices. Which doctor should I see? Should I go for that run today? Will I regret that second donut? Every healthy decision we make guides our well-being and shapes our future. Why do we strive to make the right decisions, even when they're the hard decisions? We do it for the love of health.
Thank you so much. All right, so that was short and sweet, but hopefully it gave you a sense of who we are. Um, you'll hear it often if you if you choose to join us. Uh, everything we do is for the love of health, and we do everything in love and excellence. And you'll hear those terms over and over. Um, love is at the center of everything we do. Um, and on the screen now, you'll see that um, a lot of small things that you probably can't read, um, but that's kind of intentional because what we want to show you is just in the last few months, we have received so many awards that we had to make this so small that you couldn't even read it because we're awarding so many nurses. We're receiving recognition nationally. Um, we are constantly seeing not only our caregivers getting awards, but the care that we provide to our community and our patients and their outcomes are also receiving rewards from national publications and recognition, um, best employers in the nation, et cetera. So we are constantly at the top, constantly feeling these rewards. And you'll feel it once you're on the campus too, why we continue to receive these rewards. Thank you. And I'll let it uh, turn it over to our nurse managers. Good morning. Um, so Christiana Care, at, at Christiana Care, we are very fortunate to have many disciplines that help support nursing. So one of our newest is Moxie, as you can see in the uh, top left hand picture. Um, Oxy is a cobot. Um, Moxie helps lighten the nurse's workload by retrieving and delivering items to nursing, such as meds, supplies. Um, and we're fortunate again to have three cobots. So we have one at our Wilmington campus, and then we have two at our Newark campus. Um, another innovative program we have. Oop, <laughs> thank you. Um, down in the bottom left. Um, is the Christiana Care um, at Home Program. It's a program that brings high quality hospital level care to patients in the comfort of their own home. Uh, the patients are monitored 24 seven by a command center uh, through equipment that we provide that is designed specifically for whatever those patients needs are. The services could include labs, x-rays, ultrasounds, um, anything that the patient would need in the hospital, we provide that at home. Good morning, good, morning. good, good afternoon, morning. Good, good evening. Um, so one of our latest innovations is earning Christianity Care Nationwide recognition. Is our your, your feedback is pretty significant. If you don't mind, I'll just, I'll just summarize these two. I think it's a little hard to hear. Is that okay? Can you hear me now? Oh, better. There you go. Continue okay. on. And I know okay. we have five minutes left. Okay. So one of our latest innovations is earning Christiana Care nationwide recognition is a virtual nurse role. So what that is, is inpatient nursing units are utilizing nurses located at a satellite location to be present via an iPad to help both patients and the healthcare team. Um, each patient has a tablet at the bedside that allows them to communicate with the virtual nurse via a video call. The virtual nurse works to help improve the workflow of the bedside nurse by assisting with lots of different things such as documentation, coordinating care, communicating with patient families and providers. Um, and then we also have a very unique, we have lots of educational opportunities, but one of our unique opportunities is for our nurses to learn how to incorporate healing touch into nursing practice. Um, so this is a technique that um, can be used to decrease pain, anxiety, and improve quality of life without using invasive procedures such as injections and surgery. Thank you. So just wonderful ways, and we can move to the next slide, wonderful ways that we continue to provide um, opportunities for nurses to have support. Um, and so it's really about all the unique ways we can support our community and our nurses. And I'll quickly go over a very high level here, um, but our benefits are significant. They are very competitive, full medical dental life at the day one of employment, two retirement plans, which we offer um, contributions to, generous, and let me tell you, generous uh, pay time off that allows you the opportunity to cash that out, which ends up almost being like an extra little bonus there. Um, depending on where you're at in your own um, private life, uh, if you are planning to have a child or um, anything of that nature, we do have 12 weeks of paid parental leave for either parent. 
Um, and then a lot of other work-life benefits. But for the sake of time, we'll keep on moving because I think we really want to know about where we're at. So we are in Delaware, um, but we are very close to a lot of really incredible things. So here, you can see we're about two hours from New York. We are close to Philadelphia, less than an hour, Baltimore, beaches. Um, again, you can have a life that is, you know, bustling and, and you know, in the city or a very quiet, calm life and still be very close to our campuses. So I'll turn it over to Jenny, who can tell you more about her experience as an international nurse living here. Hi. Hi. So, so Delaware, Delaware is a small is state, state, but this is, a, this is a, my personal my choice. choice. And as small as it may seem, it actually provides the fundamental needs that I was looking for from a state. And first off, and that's most important, is grocery stores. They have, in fact, several international grocery stores here, uh, and even the big stores do have a world food section where you and your family can buy and enjoy the home country traditional food. Another important fact about the state is that there's no sales tax, so there is actually a bonus. And should you know, that includes an outlet shopping. So I think that's one of the main things that was important for me as an international nurse is that not needing to travel far just to be able to, you know, buy and do your groceries. Thank you, Jenny. And Jenny, do you mind sharing a little bit more about your kind of experience with the support you receive at, at Christiana Care when you are working in your role as a nurse? You know, what it, what is it that makes you happy to show up every day to work? Oh, yes. Yeah. So Obviously, Christiana Hospital caters a diverse population and uh, that obviously not just patients, but also the staff. So what it means for us international nurses is that when you actually come here, you are very likely to meet someone from your home country, wherever you come from uh, in the world. And you will meet great people, you'll have a great support system and help you settle down and it would be make it make it much more easier and comforting for you and your family. So um, like myself, I'm Filipina, there's loads of Filipinos here uh, and you get to you know, know them, you know, you get to create your group of community and support and um, it's just handy and comforting to have that. Thank you so much. And we have 36 seconds and you best believe I'm going to take them all. Um, so one thing, again, I just want to reiterate is that Christiana Care, it is about, uh, it is led by nursing. We have different um, professional groups. We have councils where you all that are bedside nurses get to participate and make a difference in our decision making for what is going to continue to be that environment of growth um, and the way that we are able to support our nurses. So at Christiana Care, we are here for you. We hope you choose to come and participate in all the fun that we have to bring. Look, one second. <laughs> wow, wow, amazing. <laughs> Christiana Care team, that was really amazing. I'm sure our nurses around the world are so impressed and you did it exactly in 10 minutes. So organized and efficient, I love it. I was taking notes the whole time because I was just so impressed with everything that all of you had to say. I absolutely love that Moxie robot. That was so amazing. The innovation that is clearly happening at Christiana Care is really quite something. Absolutely love that you shared with uh, living in Delaware, the proximity that you have to so many other amazing locations. I live on the West Coast of the United States. So I don't often know that much about the East Coast, but it's amazing how you had access to New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, all within a couple hours, which is so wonderful. But I will say, I think the thing I really loved the most, Jenny, was how you talked about the community support. And you said you can always meet someone from your home country because Christiana Care really values diversity and um, bringing international nurses. And I thought that was a really beautiful thing and something that I'm sure a lot of our nurses who are watching from around the world really appreciate. So thank you, Christiana Care team, for sharing all about your facility, all about your state. I know it's hard to do in 10 minutes, but you guys did an excellent job. So thank you for being with us here today. If you would like to apply to Christiana Care, you can apply on our website, amnhealthcare.com forward slash international. Our recruiters are on hand, ready and waiting to take your application and you can work at an amazing place like Christiana Care. 
All right, so let's move on to our next top employer. I'm so excited to have our next top employer. We have Jackson Hospital. Let's bring our guests on so they can introduce themselves and tell us all about their hospital and the states that they are coming from. Uh, I see Megan says, where is it located? So Megan is excited to hear all about where you guys are located. So good morning to you all. Um, let's take a moment to do some quick introductions. Keith, let's start with you. All right. Thank you, Danielle. Hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Keith Pretzman. I'm the Assistant Vice President of Human Resources here at Jackson Hospital. And uh, I'm just uh, excited to be here today to share with you the Jackson uh, Hospital and Family Clinic. Clinic and Family. Hi, guys. I'm Rebecca. I am Director of Nurse Recruitment, Simulation, and also <laughs> Professional Development here at Jackson Hospital, and I'm excited to be here. All right. Well, Keith and Rebecca, we're happy to have you here and excited to hear all about what you have to tell us about Jackson Hospital. And let's turn to Fame next. Um, hi. Good morning. My name is Fame Mercado. I'm an international medical lab technologist working here in Jackson Hospital in Montgomery. And um, I've been working for 10 years and I just moved here last December. And so far I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with all the transitions uh, going on here and um, excited, excited for more. All right, well, I'm yeah. sure our nurses around the world are gonna have lots of questions for you, Fame. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you just started and we can't wait to hear about your experience. So if you are watching the Jackson Hospital team and you have questions, please put them in the chat. They will try to take them live. And if not, they will get to them in the chat after their 10 minutes. So Jackson team, you know the rules. You have 10 minutes on the clock. We are so looking forward to hearing all about your facility and your state. Let's get ready and go. All right, before I uh, share an overview video of our organization, I just want to say uh, our partnership with Kinetics and AMN and Healthcare, it's been a wonderful experience and uh, we're e eagerly awaiting our, our first group of RNs that we've recruited uh, with that partnership to arrive hopefully later this year. So uh, let's start off with the video, please. Hello, I'm Joe Riley, the CEO of Jackson Hospital and Clinic in Montgomery, Alabama. Our Jackson team enjoys a rich history of 77 years caring for the communities in the River Region. I invite you to join our Jackson team where you'll find a family that cares for you and your professional growth. Most importantly, you'll help us live our mission of caring for all those we serve. As with anything, any great company, it starts with a team. Everyone plays their role, and they bring it together. All the patients belong to everybody. You know, we help each other, we bounce ideas and thoughts off each other, and we get the help that is needed to really do the best for our patients. I feel like everybody communicates really well here. It's a very welcoming environment. I don't ever feel uncomfortable to approach physicians or even the higher management here. There's a good support system. I didn't know everything when I came over here, but there are people who are willing to help. You walk in, you feel like you're working with your family and friends. It's not about me, it's not about the nurses, or, but it's about the patient. Just this morning, ran into the CEO, and he knows you by name, and that's what I, I just love about him. You're not just an employee. Montgomery is a good place and somehow relatively peace, peaceful. It, it's just very welcoming, quiet. There's a lot to do, a lot to see. We have a great zoo here, the Biscuit Stadium for baseball, the new water park. There's a lot of entertainment downtown Montgomery. Good food. Who doesn't like good food? It's a diverse area. You can do pretty much anything that you want to do. It's good for me, especially the weather situation nice and sunny most of the time. And I think things are also cheap here compared to other states. Things are relatively affordable. It's really good being here in Montgomery. I think it's a privilege, it's a dream come true. I look forward to welcoming you to the Jackson family. All 
All right, we're going to go into a little more detail about Montgomery and our facility. So uh, if the uh, pull up the slideshow, next slide, please. A little bit about uh, Jackson Hospital and Clinic. We're a nonprofit community hospital. We're serving uh, patients in the Montgomery area, plus uh, the surrounding area, which we call the River Region. And we've been doing that for 77 years here. Um, our facility is licensed for 344 beds, and we have over 2,000 employees that uh, we, we serve the community and our patients. Uh, the next slide. We also uh, uh, are fortunate. We have a multi-specialty clinic here uh, at the facility. Uh, we have over 100 providers in this clinic, and it, it services uh, patients with over 22 specialties. So we're very fortunate there. Um, uh, uh, next slide. A new um, residency program we started last year, Family Medicine Residency Program. We started off with our first group of PGY1s and a few PGY2s. And this summer, we will be having our first group of PGY3s and uh, a, a new group of PGY1s and 2s. So it's it's been a great um, um, service uh uh, to the community and the patients that we serve. So we're very fortunate to have started that a year ago. All right, the next slide. Um, Jackson Hospital, we're, we're well known for providing uh, exceptional patient-centered care to those in our communities. We've received many special awards and designations that highlight uh, the technology and skill used throughout our hospital. Uh, and we are accredited through uh, CIHQ. So I just uh, wanted to mention some of our few technology uh, uh, innovations and awards. In the next slide, uh, a little bit about living in Montgomery. Montgomery, we are centrally located in the state of Alabama. Uh, Montgomery is also the capital city of Alabama. Uh, excellent place to raise families. Um, the medium, uh, median home price is, is, is well below the national average. Also, uh, the safety here. We have a for, for the past decade, there's been a steady decline in crime here. Um, and, and, and the crime rate here is also lower than the national average. So we're very fortunate there. So it's a great, great family environment, um, family oriented uh, geographic location. The weather here is excellent. Uh, it's 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 you're not going to see snow here probably for for a while. I think I've seen snow here once in the last decade. But if you like warm weather, this is the place for you. We have uh, very um, mild winters, um, but and, and you know uh, we do experience the four seasons. But generally, it's going to be pretty warm here, especially during summer and winter. Uh, we're very fortunate too in this area to have. Uh, uh, several higher education um, facilities here uh, close to us in, in, in Montgomery. Uh, we have five universities that are located here, and there's many more throughout the state that, that you would have access to. And then we also have a very diverse entertainment, um, um, sp uh, uh, art, sports, entertainment, um, um, culture here. Um, and you saw that in the video, Go, you know, from the food, definitely restaurants, zoo. We have a, a minor league baseball team called the Biscuits, um, yeah, a new whitewater facility um, uh, located here uh, in downtown Montgomery. So we're very diverse when it comes to entertainment as well. All right. Next slide. Also, just one last thing about us uh, geographically. Uh, like I said, we're in uh, located in central Alabama, but um, we are close to beaches. We're close to the mountains. Um, you can get to the beaches, the Gulf Coast, Gulf of Mexico, uh, in about three hours. If you go about two and a half hours, three hours north of us, you'll be getting into the foothills of, of mountains, the Appalachians. Um, and then you can get to Atlanta in about two hours. Um, actually, you can get to the airport, Atlanta airport, in less than two hours. So we're very uh, geographically, uh, the location is, is perfect, uh, depending on what types of uh, activities you want to experience and what kind of geographic areas you want to experience. I'm going to pass it on next slide uh, to Becca. She's going to talk a little, uh, get more specific about nursing here at uh, Jackson Hospital. Hi guys, as I mentioned before, I'm Becca. I am the Director of Nurse Recruitment, Simulation and Professional Development here at Jackson Hospital. I was also born and raised here in the River Region area and I'm currently raising my family here. It is a great place to live. I think the greatest place I love about it is this hometown feel. 
Um, nursing at Back Hospital. Nursing. I'm sorry, getting a little feedback there. Nursing at Jackson Hospital, we have so many different um, specialties to offer. We actually have availability in all of our specialties right now. So we, have, of course, have ER. We're a level three trauma center. We have critical care. Um, we have a really awesome CVICU program um, with those open heart surgeries, OR, PACU, endo. Um, and then, of course, all of our acute care units like our ortho neuro, our post-surgical. Um, we do a lot of urology and medical oncology. We also have a little palliative care as well. And we do also see some pediatrics. Of course, we have labor and delivery postpartum. So as you can see, just a wide range of it. Next slide, please. Professional development here. We have a um, awesome professional development program here. Um, that is one of the things that I am so excited about. I get so excited when I get new people in is I love to find out what will help you meet, you, how I can help you meet your professional development goals. So I will meet you um, as early as in whenever you come into orientation and some reviews of different things with you. We have a simulation program. We have a clinical ladder program. We've also just recently started a unit um, champion program, which you could also qualify for if you have a bachelor's degree. Next slide, please. And that is it for Jackson Hospital. And then. Babe, hey, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience real quickly since you've been here the last couple of months? Oh. Okay, um, so uh, Jackson Jackson Hospital in Montgomery community, especially the laboratory staff and HR have been very helpful since day one. Um, they have been very uh, supportive and um, informative on how to go about living here. And um, personally, it's a whole different transition. So all of us, all of us here would really have. Um, been very um, um, appreciative of each and everyone here around us that they keep on uh, just um, introducing us to the whole culture here in Montgomery. And I'm very fortunate to be here and join the rest of the team here in um, Jackson Hospital. All right, Jackson team, exactly in 10 minutes. Great job. Thank you guys for sharing all of that information about your hospital, about your community. You know, I was as I was watching along in that video, you had one of your employees said, the CEO knows you by name, you're not just an employee. And I think by the way that all of you are talking about Jackson, you can really tell, I mean, you know, Rebecca said it's a home away from home. Faith talked about the, the fame, talked about the community support that she's been receiving since she's been there. And I know that's so important for a lot of our nurses who are watching from around the world and wondering, am I going to have that support when I arrive? Because it is a really big change. Just some other things that you also mentioned that I absolutely know our international nurses who are watching around the world are very interested in was that crime rates that's lower than national average and the cost of living that's well below the national average. I mean, those are huge factors that international nurses take into the consideration, knowing that you're going to be able to buy a home. I live in California where buying a home is almost impossible. So knowing that you're going to live in a place that you can raise your family, the cost of living is affordable. I think those things are invaluable. And I'm sure our nurses who are watching around the world are very, very excited to hear about all of those things. So thank you so much to the Jackson Hospital team. We really appreciate our partnership and we appreciate having you on today. If you would like to apply to work at Jackson Hospital in Montgomery, Alabama, you can apply at amnhealthcare.com forward slash international. And our recruiters are on hand, ready and waiting and excited to take your applications and help you start your American dream. Before we turn to our next employer, if you are just joining us, you are joining us on career day, which is one of my favorite days of the quarter. Kinetics was the first company in the industry to have a career day. And now that we are part of AMN Healthcare, we have brought our sister company, O'Grady Payton, along for the fun. So career day is your chance to get to meet some of our top employers around the United States. At AMN Healthcare, you have the option of direct hire and staffing. We're the only company in the industry where you have that as an option. And we have opportunities all across the 50 states. Let's bring up that graphic of our opportunities all across every state. Um, as you can see, every state is colored. 
And today we are fortunate enough to have five of our amazing employers who are going to come on and sell themselves to you. This is your opportunity to educate yourself. This is your opportunity to learn about these facilities, their locations. So please put your questions in the chat. Let us know what you want to know. This is your time. Um, we're just going to go through real quick the rules of career day so that everybody knows. So this is the, your time for speed dating for nursing careers in the USA. We are so excited to be helping you live your American dream. And this is your chance to pick your employer. So we are going in alphabetical order when we are talking to each healthcare facility in order to keep it fair. There is 10 minutes on the clock. So I know 10 minutes is not that much, but they are giving you just the key highlights. Every facility on here has so much to talk about in terms of their facility facility in terms of their location and they are just coming on here to give you the small snippets and if you want to learn more you can check out more on our website or on their website and learn more and then that let's bring up that graphic one more time and then that last rule ask your questions live that's an important one if you would like to ask any questions to these facilities please ask your questions live in the chat if we don't get to them during the show they will be answering in the chat after and let's go through real quick how to choose a facility. So you wanna think about all of these considerations when you are thinking about how to choose a facility, the area, the accreditations, their awards, what training programs they have, what community do they have on the ground? Are you gonna be building a new community or are you joining an international community? What are they offering to you? What kind of benefits are they offering to you? What kind of those things are important to you? What specialties are they hiring for? Got to make sure they are hiring for the specialty that you are looking for. What spousal support and what career prospects do they have if those items are important to you? But at the end of the day, we always say the most important factor is going to be trusting your gut. So let our AMN healthcare team figure out what is going to be the best match for you and reach your American dream. But at the end of the day, trust your guts. Listen to what you are saying in your heart. So let's get back to career day. We have three more amazing employers who are coming on and are going to sell themselves to you. So let's bring on our next employer. I am so excited to have Mercy Re Rehabilitation Hospital on with us today. The Mercy team is going to introduce themselves, share all about their hospital and their location. Good morning to all of you. Before we get started, let's do some quick introductions. We are going to start with Brooke. Hi, good morning. My name is Brooke Doherty. I'm the Director of Human Resources here at Mercy Rehabilitation South, and I'm so happy to be here with you. Well, we are so happy that you are with us, Brooke. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank let's you. go with Marvia next. Good morning. My name is Marvia Samuels. I'm a rehab nurse. I work at the Mercy South Rehabilitation Hospital, and I'm from Jamaica. Ah, wonderful. Well, we're excited to hear all about your experience as an international nurse, Marvia. Thank you for being here today. And last but certainly not least, let's go with Rhonda. Hello, I am Rhonda Morse, the Chief Nursing Officer here at Mercy Rehabilitation Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, wonderful. Well, Mercy team, we are so excited to have you on our career day this morning. We are looking forward to hearing everything you have to tell us about your hospital and the state that you are located. You guys know the rules. You got 10 minutes on the clock. Let's get ready and go. Good morning. I will begin with opening um, our presentation where you'll see a picture of our brand new, beautiful facility, Mercy Rehabilitation South. We provide care for patients suffering from debilitating illness or injury, and the average length of stay is about 10 to 11 days. Diagnoses include brain and spinal cord injuries, stroke, amputation, and complex orthopedic injuries, to name a few. Our facility is located on Mercy South Hospital's campus in South County, St. Louis, Missouri. We have 50 private rooms amongst two floors. 12 rooms are secured in our neurological unit. Additionally, we have an in-house hemodialysis in which Marvia manages and bariatric rooms with ceiling lifts. Next slide, please. 
<clears throat> so here you see our beautiful state-of-the-art rehabilitation therapy gym. Patients admitted here at Mercy Rehabilitation Hospital South are able to withstand three hours of therapy a day, five days a week. This includes physical, occupational, and speak la speech language pathology. In addition to therapy, nursing care is provided 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So again, pictured here below is our therapy courtyard with a pickleball court, putting green, and alternative terrains for community ambulation simulation. Next slide. So illustrated here is our patient population by diagnosis in 2023, mostly neurological at 44%. At this time, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Rhonda Morse. Rhonda, the floor is yours. Thank you, Brooke. Next slide, please. So once you arrive at the rehab hospital, in which we actually currently have about 10 international nurses from all over the world. So we welcome any new members, but you start with orientation and education. The first two weeks is basically classroom training and virtual training where you learn um, about documentation, uh, how to administer blood, do skin documentation, blood sugars, the mobility equipment, all those kinds of things that you need to know to become efficient on the rehab hospital area. Once you're done with those two weeks of classroom orientation, then you um, come to the rehab hospital where you'll be with a preceptor nurse for approximately another two to three weeks where you'll actually learn hands-on training and um, get to actually do the documentation. That preceptor nurse also will show you like where the supplies are kept, just how they do their day. Once you're done with the orientation and education, you're not alone though. There's always a charge nurse on every shift 24 seven to assist in any questions or um, procedures that you may not have had the experience to do yet. Then um, the nurse patient ratio is about one nurse to seven patients. Um, and along with the, you being the nurse, there's also a patient care assistant who also provides that hands-on care of the patient with the turning and positioning and toileting and things like that. So I'm gonna turn it over to Marvia now because she's been a nurse at our rehab hospital for and it, actually with us before for over two years and has transitioned to being a Mercy nurse. So I will let you tell, um, let her tell you what it's like to actually be a nurse at our hospital. Go ahead, Marvia. Good morning again, everyone. Um, being a nurse on the rehab unit is very exciting and challenging. You get to learn um, new things, um, different things from the general hospital. So on a daily basis, we do medication passes and um, we pass medication as per order using the EPIC system. And we use a computer on wheels to do the medication passes. We also do wound care um, for patients who have wounds, um, pressure ulcers, incision sites, um and um skin tears other type of wounds we do wound care as well we also do um iv insertions blood draws uh um in iv insertion iv fluid iv antibiotic care that sort of thing and we also do iv dressing changes as well if we have a patient with a trach, we do trach trach trachostomy care. Um, as well, we do family and patient education. Um, we inform, we educate the family about um, the patient's medical management, their diagnosis, they have been um, diabetes. We do blood sugar management. We do insulin administration, teaching and instructions. Um, we also do in the nutrition department, we give NG feeds for patients who have a, a peg tube, we do feeding as well. We give bolus feeds and we give um, intermittent feeds as well. 
we do electronic documentation. We document, we document in UDS on rehab, and we also document on the EPIC system. That's where we give our medications and we follow up our lab results and um, we do um, our patient orders. We all do those things on EPIC. Um, well, IV, and IV, um, and IV documentation we do on EPIC as well. Working here has been very um, entertaining, informative, very good. I enjoy my time at rehab. When I came, I was very apprehensive because I didn't know much about rehab nursing. We don't have rehab nursing in Jamaica. So I was very apprehensive. But the staff here, they were great. I met some wonderful people. I'm telling you, <laughs> I was very um, nervous coming here. But when I came, I realized that I, I came into a family. I met a lot of other international nurses while I'm here from all over the world, Philippine, um, Zimbabwe, uh, Africa nurses. They were great. We form a family and the nurses who are here on the rehab unit, we form a family. Where I live, it's close to the hospital. It's like 10 to 15 minutes driving and um, the area is very secure. Um, I feel safe. Whatever time I go in, I leave, I feel very secure. Shopping, it's within hand reach, so to speak. There's The stores are available. There are many, you can choose, pick, choose and refuse where you want to shop. You can um, there's a lot of entertainment. You can go um, to the zoo, to the park, to the aquarium. There are rides you can go on. Um, it's very wonderful here and it's very safe. I feel um, very comfortable and I, I feel very safe here. My family came with me. So uh, my kids, two boys, they were all over the place coming here and they just enjoy their time while they're here. So um, thank you all. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you, Marvia. Hopefully we have time for the videos that we have remaining, but we understand if not. Hello, my name is Fisayo. I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. Hi, my name is Sasha K. Lynch. I am a registered nurse from Jamaica. This is just a synopsis of my journey to the US. Registered nurse working at the rehabilitation hospital, Mercy South. Um, also a recipient of June 2023 Co-worker of the Month Award. It began in 2018 after being accepted by OGP into the International Nursing Program and ended in 2023 after completing my required contracted period. I moved to the US in October 2021, started working at Mercy South Rehab in December 2021. Arriving here with only two pieces of luggage containing clothing and knowing I have to begin my life as if starting from scratch was very unnerving. We moved into an empty apartment and had our first prepared meal sitting on the floor. I really, really love Mercy South Rehab and I would recommend anyone to come and join our team. Wow, Mercy team. Oh my gosh, I almost have a little bit of tears from watching that video. That was really, really quite something, really beautiful. It seems like you guys have got such an amazing and robust international community. I mean, Marvia, when you were talking about, you said you were nervous when you came, which is completely understandable. I think every international nurse, when they imagine making that journey to the United States, it makes you a little nervous inside. It's a big, big deal. 
And when you said you came and you found your family, you formed your family, you had all of these different nationalities from all over the world that you became friends with, became part of your family. Um, I think that just sounds so, so special um, and really so touching. So I'm sure for a lot of nurses who are watching around the world and are looking for somewhere that they can go and have a community and have that support system, that's clearly something that Mercy Rehab South really has. Um, I also loved how you all talked about the area. You talked about how safe and secure it is. That's something I know for a lot of international nurses, whether they have a family or not, it's really important to them. So Marvia, when you said that you could leave at any time of the day or night and you don't have to worry, that's a huge deal. So thank you so much for sharing that. And thank you so much to the Mercy team. Mercy Rehab Hospital really does sound like quite the amazing family, especially for an international nurse. So we are so appreciative of your partnership and of you coming on here and sharing all about your rehab facility and why an international nurse should choose you. So thank you, Mercy Rehab team. Um, if you would like to work at Mercy Rehab in St. Louis, Missouri, you can apply at amnhealthcare.com forward slash international. And you can see they're excited. They're welcoming you. They want you to come join. So thank you to the Mer Mercy Rehab team. Before we move on to our next employer, I see we have so many people watching from all around the world. We have so many comments. We have Modisi from South Africa. We have Ferry from Zambia, Dee from Jamaica, Venita joining from the UK. Oh my gosh, we have just got nurses from watching from all over the world. I absolutely love it. So please continue to share where you're watching from. Ask any questions you have in the chat. This is your chance to ask the employers your questions. Educate yourself. As we've said, moving to the United States is a big deal. But once you reach your American dream, you can flourish, just like the international nurses that we have had on from all of these wonderful facilities. So let's turn to our next employer. I am so excited to introduce this next employer. They are going to share all about their facility, all about their state. And if you have questions, once again, please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, the Monument Health team from South Dakota is going to be very excited and ready to answer all of your questions. Is the Monument Health team there? I see a black screen, but I see some names. <laughs> Maybe we're having a little bit of tech difficulties. While we're getting that Monument Health team ready, why don't we bring up our success path? Because as I was going through the comments, I saw lots of questions from a lot of our viewers who are wondering how to get to the US. So I saw some questions about the NCLEX, about the path to get here. I know that there is so much information out there and sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Um, you may not know where to start. You don't know what's the next step. Um, but that is why AMN Healthcare has distilled it down into a seven-step success path for you. And you can find this information on our website if you want to go back and look. So we are going to very briefly go through each step. Step one is passing the NCLEX. I saw some questions about that. Once you have passed the NCLEX, that is your golden ticket. You can come to us and we will help you prepare for the interview. As I said, at AMN Healthcare, we have Kinetics, which is direct hire, and O'Grady Payton, which is staffing. And we would be very excited to help you find the right match for you at one of our employers all across the United States. Once you have a job offer, you will move to steps three and four, where we will help you with the visa immigration, the licensing and the credentialing. Once you are approved to come to the United States, you're gonna do your happy dance. You are gonna get ready to come. We have all of these different ways that we help you with the language, financial, clinical, immigration, everything that you can do to prepare for the transition. Step six is the arrival sequence. This is where you touch down. As you've heard from our international nurses, you are never alone. You have support from your employer. You have support from AMN Healthcare International. And step seven, enjoy and prosper. And that is our goal for all of our international nurses. And I will say on a personal level, it makes me so happy to hear from our international nurses who are here with the employers today and who are able to share all about their success um, and how they are prospering at each of their locations. 
So let's see if we have the Monument Health team back. Or are we actually going to maybe go to another employer? We're going to go to Northside. So as everybody knows, this is live, everybody. And this is just sometimes what happens. It's the fun of live. We're going to change things up. We are going to go with Northside Hospital next, which I am so excited to see the Northside team. I see the faces popping up. I'm so <laughs> excited to have you here today. Good morning to Christina and to Kimmy. Let's take a moment to introduce yourselves. Uh, we are so excited to hear from Northside. So thankful for your partnership. Um, so let's give Northside the floor. Christina, let's start with you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Christina. I am Talon Physician Supervisor at Northside Hospital. I've been with Northside for about four years and in Georgia for about four years. All right. Well, we are very excited to hear about your experience with Northside and Georgia. And let's go to Kimmy next. Hi, good morning. My name is Kimberly Lovely, uh, or everyone calls me Kimmy, a Filipino GI nurse in Northside, Northside Hospital in Atlanta. And first of all, I would like to thank you for having us back. Well, we are so excited to have you guys back. You did an amazing job. We thought we'd bring you on again. All of our international nurses from around the world absolutely loved hearing about Northside and we want to give those who didn't have the opportunity to hear more. So let's give 10 minutes on the clock to Northside Hospital. They know the drill and ready, let's go. Well, hello and thank you to AMN for hosting and thank you to everyone watching. We are excited to tell you about Northside and the Atlanta metro area. Um, today, we're going to start with telling you a little bit about Atlanta, our amazing organization, and then Kimmy's going to tell about her journey and why she chose Northside, um, followed by us answering some questions in the chat, time permitting. So you can find us in the southeast corner of the United States. So Atlanta is located in the northeast corner of Georgia. Um, our metro Atlanta area is composed of about 10 counties. Um, we have over 6 million residents in the metro Atlanta area with um, a very culturally diverse population of about 8% being foreign born. We have the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. It is one of the busiest airports in the world with over a thousand flights daily. So you can travel the world just minutes away. Um, we have our MARTA transit system, which is um, public transportation for Atlanta proper and some of our outlying city, um, cities and suburbs. We are home to renowned colleges and universities. We have Emory University, um, University of Georgia, Mercer, Georgia Tech, and more. We have a very affordable cost of living as well. We are three to 7% lower than the US median. Um, we have warm, um, humid subtropical climate with short mild winters and warm, hot, and humid summers. So um, you'll find that um, it is much warmer here, but it doesn't, I don't think it gets too hot, but um, I come from a, a town where it got super cold and then it got super hot. We have um, five major sports teams um, for those that love their sports. We have our Atlanta United soccer team, our Falcons NFL team, the Braves baseball team. Um, we have our Hawks NBA team and then the UGA Bulldogs. And then entertainment, arts, and food and attractions are bountiful over here. Um, we have the aquarium, which is the fourth largest in the world and home to over 200 species, including beautiful whale sharks. We have the botanical gardens that were voted best light display in the country in the professional category for 2023. Uh, we also have our Atlanta Zoo with 40 acres of animal exhibits, the Atlanta Beltline, the Fox Theater with um, performing Broadway musicals and more. We have our iconic park, which is Piedmont Park, um, with a series of events scheduled throughout the year. So they have live music and festivals. Um, we have our Pont City Market and then, of course, Battery Park, which is home to the Braves. Mm -hmm. um, to tell a little bit about Northside, though, um, we, have, we are a five hospital system. Um, we are located in four of the 10 counties in the area. So we have our Northside um, Atlanta, which is in Sandy Springs, our Northside Forsyth, which is in Cumming, Georgia, our Northside Cherokee in Canton, our Northside Gwinnett in Lawrenceville, and our Northside Duluth. All of these campuses are within an hour to an hour and a half 
um, from Atlanta proper, but most of them are much closer than that. It just depends on some traffic. We have over 250 outpatient locations, over 25,000 employees, um, over 3,700 doctors, 1,700 licensed beds with expansions at our Northside Cherokee, Forsyth, and Lawrenceville. Our Lawrenceville campus is expanding to such an extent that we are projected to be the largest hospital in Georgia um, with over 1,000 beds just at that campus alone. Um, we have nearly 5.2 million patient encounters, um, and we are Atlanta's most preferred hospital, and we were just awarded World's Best Hospital by Newsweek in um, 2024. But I can talk about Northside all day long, but I'd like for you to hear a little bit about Northside from our employees. Video, please. I have never worked for a place that made me feel so welcome. When I first started working at Northside, I noticed that everyone was smiling. I always feel like it's home, coming home to work. And I don't work because I have to, I work because I like working here. I feel like every time I come to work, it's a, you know, it's a bonus. I love my job. I could work every day. Sometimes I wish I was here on my day off. It's a second home to me. It's a place full of passionate individuals. I call it the Rainbow Coalition culture here. Everybody's friendly. It's a family environment. They make you feel like you're family when you first walk through the door. You all feel connected. It feels like family. We are a family. We're family. And I'll be darned if it isn't. It is just an embodiment of a family culture. I, I guess that's the best way to sum it up is Northside is a family. And it's just an amazing place to be. Just as everyone said, Northside is a family. You'll hear it time and time again within the system. Um, Northside, it's the Northside way or it's the Northside family. To tell a little bit about our global nursing program, we have over 291 nurses hired um, through this program since March, 2022. We have 29 countries represented and we are so excited to meet everyone that's bound to come. Um, the areas that we're hiring for are our bone marrow transplant area and our acute care with subspecialties in medicine, neuro, ortho, surgery, GI, and more. We have a customized six to eight week orientation plan with the support of the unit manager, unit educator, and the system-wide clinical education team. Um, I want to give you a little bit of a glimpse from our care nurse, and then Kimmy is going to talk a little bit after the video. Hi Atlanta, I'm Lindsay Ostrovitsky, a cardiac acute care nurse at Northside Hospital Cherokee, and today I'm taking you on a journey through my day. Wondering what a cardiac acute care nurse does? Well, it's all about the care, treatment, and rehabilitation of patients with heart disease. From surgery recovery to critical illness, we handle it all. Although I truly love all aspects of my job, my favorite part is patient education. I love guiding individuals on their path to recovery, whether they're young and experience their first heart attack, or elderly and transitioning transitioning to the next phase of life. In my free time, you'll find me in downtown Canton with my girlfriend. It's nice to walk around the area. There's fun public art, restaurants, and lots of cute shops. After an afternoon of strolling and shopping around, we love to indulge for lunch at our favorite La Perea Mexican restaurant. They definitely know us here. Thanks for spending the day with me. Kimmy, can you tell us a little bit about why you chose Northside and Georgia? Oh, yeah. Um, thank you for having me again. Um, yeah, I love Northside Hospital. Like, as what the videos portrayed earlier, it is really a family. Um, Northside has been um, good and taken good care of us, and they value our voice. They value their staff 100%. Um, a well-diverse population, not just American nurses, not just Filipino nurses, um, all nationalities are in here. Um, nurse patient ratio is one of the top here. <laughs> Love it because um, for the morning shift, it will be one nurse is equal to four patients. And of course, during the night shift, it will be one nurse is equal to five patients. Paid trainings, educations are top tier. I love our trainings here. They keep us on the loop. And for we also have various teams. Um, we also have IV team rapid response team we also have flab team so meaning um all we have to do is um, a patient care a patient centered care for our patients 
Um, we use Omnisol, we use um, Cerner for our documentation because all nurses have their individual computers. And lastly, patients love us because as quote unquote, they love to see our smile. Um, yeah, I'm grateful and blessed to be part of the Northside family, our relationship that I can really say that will last a lifetime, that will last long. Um, shout out to my coworkers in Four Central. Um, shout out to my manager, Ms. Courtney, and to my um, educators, um, clinicians, my supervisors, my Filipino and American friends. You guys are the reason why I smile all, smile all the time and keep on going. So um, I promised myself before that as much as I can, I will answer all of your questions about Northside. So please, to all Filipinos, to all um, other nationalities, if you have any questions about Northside, please do not hesitate to drop me a message on Facebook, my Facebook page. Um, no, not really my, my Facebook page. My Facebook profile is um, public. You can always send me a message. We already have an existing um, Facebook Northside group chats so that I can add you to those and, you know, we can just have a chit chat 24 seven. Thank you. Thanks, Gimme. Um, if anyone has questions, um, one thing to know is our benefits. Um, we have amazing benefits with Northside, not only full, um, full health benefits, but also we have our pension plan, um, which is very rare in this area um, or in general, along with an actual retirement plan. Um, and then we have it's do it, student um, tuition reimbursement and student loan repayment. So lots of opportunities there. Um, and I see a message over here. We do not hire for the ICU. Um, we are only hiring for a bone marrow transplant and acute care. All right. Well, Northside team. Oh my gosh, Kimmy, you brought me to tears a little bit over there. Thank you so much for sharing both your experience, Kimmy and Christina. You can see they really love where they work. I mean, we heard in that video, there were a few people that said coming here, coming to work is like coming home. Um, everyone is always smiling, the rainbow coalition culture here. And then hearing Kim, Kimmy talk and talk about how Northside really values the nurses, how you have top tier education and training. I mean, it just sounds so amazing. You've already hired 291 RNs so far, and I know you're hiring many more. And we are just so happy to be a part of that process. So happy that our nurses are there and thriving. Um, we know with Northside, they have an amazing employer and um, the, the nurses are really thriving, which is really something you could just wish for to see. So it makes me so happy. So thank you for sharing. I also loved how you shared that you guys were the Newsweek World's Best Hospital for 2024. That is very impressive. I mean, I can see why. So that definitely makes sense. So thank you, Christina and Kimmy for being on again. It was great to see you both. Thank you for sharing your experience. If you were inspired and you would like to work in Northside in Georgia, where their hospitals, their five hospitals are located in four of the 10 counties in the area, which is impressive, you can apply at amnhealthcare.com forward slash international. And our recruiters are on hand, ready, waiting, and excited to take your applications. So please apply today. Um, and we have our final employer, last but certainly not least. Let's see if we got those tech difficulties figured out. We have Monument Health, who is our, there we go. We can see them now. So we are very excited. All right, Monument Health team. We can see your smiling faces. We are so excited to hear from you all today. Let's give quick introductions before we get started. So I will let you all three, you're all in the same room. So whoever wants to go first. <laughs> yes, hello. Um, thank you for having us. Um, we are Monument Health. We're in Rapid City, South Dakota. My name is Tara. I am one of the nurse managers on Ortho Neurosurgical. Um, I'll let I'm Anna. I am also one of the uh, managers on the Ortho Neurosurgical floor. And I'm Kelly. I'm the nurse manager for medical and oncology. And we have a presentation for you guys. So we'll get this All going. Right. Well, Tara, Kelly, and Anna, we are excited to hear from you guys. We have Monument Health back on. 
um, where there was a lot of interest in Monument Health. So if you're watching from around the world, they are doing an amazing job here and I'm excited for them to share um, all about their facility and all about their hospital. So you guys know the drill. There is 10 minutes on the clock, ready and go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about our facility. Um, Monument Health, Rapid City, South Dakota. We're on the west side of the state, right in the middle of the nation um, in the United States. We're considered Midwest and rural community. We serve a large area. Uh, we'll let our video tell us a little bit about our facility here first. Monument Health is headquartered in Rapid City, South Dakota, nestled in the beautiful Black Hills, in a place characterized by over 5 million acres of forests and mountains, an oasis in a sea of prairie. The system offers care in 33 medical specialties and serves 20 communities across western South Dakota and eastern Wyoming, serving a population of over 428,000. Over 4,500 committed physicians and caregivers live by our mission to make a difference every day. Monument Health is comprised of five hospitals, eight specialty and surgical centers, and more than 40 medical clinics and health care service centers. As the only member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network in South Dakota, Monument Health physicians work with doctors worldwide to solve complex medical challenges, complementing local expertise and keeping our patients close to home. Cancer care, heart and vascular, orthopedics, neurosurgery, general surgery and urology are just a few of the specialty services offered to our region with leading edge technologies and treatments. Careers begin and flourish at Monument Health. The Rapid City Hospital is a level two trauma hospital with one of the busiest emergency departments in a three state region, seeing over 50,000 patients. Rapid City Hospital is also a level three neonatal intensive care unit caring for our smallest patients. The Black Hills location and culture is a dream come true for emerging physicians and their families. This area draws entrepreneurs, retirees, and business leaders seeking quality of life. From the northern to southern hills, the rich history, abundant natural beauty, and adventure draws artists, entertainers, and tourists from all over the world. Those who move here call it stunningly beautiful, with endless year-round outdoor activities, with hiking and biking trails 15 minutes away. A lunch hour can turn into an adventure. Numerous lakes allow for boating, and the national forest and trails are a mountain biker and UTV owner's dream. In the winter, many enjoy the local ski resort and take advantage of cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. Trees, trails, lakes, snow, climbing, biking, hiking, and fly fishing, it's all here. Public and private schools serve every learning style from traditional to expeditionary. Home to Mount Rushmore, the Badlands, Custer State Park, Spearfish Canyon, and more. And the rest of the world is only a flight away through Rapid City's regional airport. Monument Health invites you to make a difference every day. Visit our website for more information. Okay, great. Hopefully that is still working. Let me make a difference every day. There we go. Okay, sorry, we are having a few technical difficulties this morning, but we have a great mission, vision, and values in our organization. We've really simplified things, and our vision is it starts with heart. We want to be one team, listen, be inclusive, and show that we care to do the right thing every time. Um, our values, we have five values of trust, respect, compassion, community, and excellence. And our priorities are to deliver high quality care, provide a caring experience, be a great place to work, impact our communities, and be here for generations to come. So again, we want to make a difference every day. Okay. So we are the largest healthcare system in Western South Dakota. We have five hospitals within our monument health system, um, 23 location, clinic locations, an assisted living and a care center. We have urgent cares and then specialty treatment centers like our Cancer Care Institute, Heart and Vascular Rehab Institutes, Dialysis, um, Surgery Center, our behavioral health, and then we have an orthopedic specialty hospital as well. Okay, go ahead and go to the next slide, please. 
Thank you. All right, our specialties, you can see we have a large list of specialties and it also highlights there on the left for you that we are part of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. So that opens up a door with a lot of additional resources that are really great for our community, especially being rural, things that we may not have access to otherwise. Okay, so our hospital specifically that we are recruiting for right now is our Rapid City facility. It is our largest campus. We have um, three units particularly right now that we are going to talk about within our system. We're um, an over 400 bed hospital, our medical, oncology, and orthoneurosurgical units. Go ahead, next slide. Orthoneurosurgical, our area that Anna and I are over, um, we are very, very proud of. We're a 64 bed unit. We take care of all different kinds of patients um, from our medical overflow to our orthopedic patients, our um, fractures and traumas and um, all of that, our joint replacements. Our neuro side, we take care of stroke patients, seizures, traumatic brain injuries. Um, and we have a really awesome neuro interventional team now that are um, doing amazing things for our stroke population as well that previously would have had to have been shipped to another hospital in another state. So this is very exciting for us. Then surgical, we have a whole floor dedicated to our post-op surgical patients. We take care of everything from head to toe, um, many, many abdominal surgeries. We are um, currently working on becoming a bariatric center of excellence for our um, bariatric population as well. And you'll see everything, like I said, from head to toe on this floor. We have amazing ratios. We work um, with a four to one nurse ratio and our nurse aides take an eight to one um, patient to nurse aid ratio. So it's some of the best in the nation for um, our ratios and our ability to provide that care. We also are a flexible acuity. So you'll see everything from our medical surgical level of care to our intermediate. Um, patient population as well, potentially taking those drips or needing that higher level of higher acuity care. Um, but we have a charge nurse on every floor and we also have nurse managers and lots of ancillary staff um, that are able and willing to jump in and help anytime. Okay, next slide. Um, Kelly will talk a little bit about our medical and oncology areas. <clears throat> Um, our medical unit is one of the units that has great ratios, um, anywhere from four to five to one um, for nurses, and the nurse aid ratio is anywhere from five to eight to one. We do have um, one of our pods is like a long-term care pod, so we get that kind of long-term care experience as well as med surge and intermediate level of care. Uh, patient population medical sees basically anything medical that you, um, that patients come in for. All right. And then our oncology department is a four to one ratio. The nurse aid ratio is eight to one. We, um, that unit is also a um, med surge or intermediate level of care um, unit. Our patient population is mostly oncology patients, um, whether that be post surgery from um, cancer or patients admitted for chemotherapy. We also do plasmapheresis, um, just a lot of different things that pertain to oncology. Okay, so a little bit about our team. We have a really diverse team. We get um, together outside of work, within work. We do volunteerism in our community. Um, but we love to have fun together. We have a huge population of international nurses already at our facility from everywhere from Jamaica to Africa to Philippines. And um, we are very, very welcoming with open arms. Um, we so, so appreciate the sacrifices that our international nurses make to come here and help us. Um, so we wanna help you to become part of our team and our community is wonderful for our international nurses. Um, we're a small town. Um, we are very safe and, um, yes, <laughs> thank you. 
we'll go ahead and read through our mission statement for you here to wrap up. But our medical, ortho, neurosurgical, and oncology um, department has come up with a mission statement to create a culture where all caregivers are fully engaged, feel valued, excel in contributing to our overall mission and goals of our organization. Um, we will have values of teamwork, empathy, integrity, compassion, and quality outcomes while remaining fiscally responsible. Above all, we want our caregivers to feel like they've made a difference in the patient's life. So we hope that you'll come and join our team. Well, thank you, Monument Health team. I know it's hard to sum up all of the amazing things that you have going on there in 10 minutes, but you guys did it. So thank you for being on today um, and sharing all about your facility and all about your state. You know, there's something that you said right at the end there that I was just sitting here and I was like, wow, that really blows me away. You said we really appreciate the sacrifices that our international nurses make. I think that goes to show just how much the Monument Health team knows and really truly values their international nurses. You know that it's not an easy journey to get there and you really value the international nurses that have made the commitment to you and that are working at your facility. I know that you have a friendly, welcoming community. You mentioned some of the places that you guys represent in your international nursing community. And I know for a lot of our nurses who are watching, that's so important to them to know that they'll have that community when they come on the ground. So thank you for sharing that. That was really beautiful. A couple of other things that really stood out to me was that affordable cost of living that you have in South Dakota. Very, very amazing affordable cost of living. I don't think you mentioned this, but it's something I know about South Dakota. No state income tax. That is a huge benefit. Um, I'm coming from California, so I would love to have that. So if you're an international nurse who's watching and you are thinking about what to consider, no state income tax, that's huge. I also love that video with the beautiful natural landscape. Looks like there's lots of outdoor activities, a beautiful community that you guys are growing over there. So thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for being on and for being our partners. Um, if you are an international nurse who is watching and was inspired by the Monument Health team and you would like to join their network, um, oh, and they said that they were part of the Mayo Clinic Care Network, which I was like, oh, that's also something, a little nugget you don't want to forget. So if you'd like to join their team, um, you can apply on our website, amnhealthcare.com forward slash international, and our recruiters are on hand, ready and waiting to take your application and ready to help you reach your American dream. And with that, I know we ran a little bit over, but we were just having so much fun with Career Day. So enjoying hearing from all of our amazing partners all across the country, the amazing things that they are doing to hire international nurses and bring them and help them thrive in the United States. So once again, if you were inspired today and you would like to apply, our recruiters are on hand and ready, waiting from AMN Healthcare International, from OGP Staffing, and from Kinetics Direct Hire, and they are excited to take your application. So thank you all for being here today. Before we go, we'd like to take a look at our next shows that are upcoming on Onwards and Upwards. So let's bring up that schedule. We have our immigration Q&A on March 22nd. We have our another immigration Q&A. It's our monthly immigration Q&A with top immigration expert attorneys on April 19th. I'm sure everybody is eager to hear what's happening with the Visa Bulletin. On May 3rd, we have Nurses Month Career Day. So looking forward to that one. And if you are part of LaFora, we have the LaFora Talk Show. On March 12th, we are going to be talking all about the English exams, giving you some updates, some insider tips, all the things you need to know. On April 16th, we are going to be talking about embracing your new life in the United States. And finally, on May 14th, we have our Nurses Month game show. So we're going to be doing something a little bit fun there. So make sure to check out our Onwards and Upward shows at 7 a.m. Pacific. We also have our AMN Academy. So these are our shows that happen every Monday at 5 a.m. Pacific with our partners iPass, Swoosh, 9.09er, and Aspire RN. So make sure to avail yourself 
of those free classes where you can learn all of the tips and tricks that you need to pass your NCLEX and your English class, all free stuff. So all good stuff for all of our international nurses who are watching from around the world. I want to give a quick shout out to the AMN Healthcare International team, especially my directors, Luciana and Milanis for making career day happen. I know there's a lot that goes into it. So thank you to my team for making it happen. It was so wonderful to hear from all of our employers. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I hope all of you did too. If you put questions in the chat, the employers will be going through and answering all of your questions. So feel free if you're watching back and you have some questions that pop up, feel free to add your questions in the chat and we will try to get to them. So thank you to everybody for tuning in today. It was so great to see all of you from watching from around the world. I hope you enjoyed career day as much as I did. And we are so excited to help you reach your American dream with one of these amazing employers. So onwards and upwards, everybody. We'll see you again soon.